In this lesson, we'll create a function that allows the player enter the apartment by pressing a key. Alright, now let's work on the second light. So we're going to select the second computer light and press F key. So we can zoom into here. Okay, so I'm going to create a cube. And I will use this cube as the trigger so we can enter this house. Okay. Um, make it a little bit bigger and place it in front of the door. So whenever our player walked um, into this trigger, uh, we'll have the instruction tell the player that press the key that you can enter the house. Okay. So I'm going to turn off mesh render and check on its trigger and I'm going to rename this one as uh, trigger enter apartment A because later on we may create other triggers to enter other apartment so this will be the first one all right so this is going to be the trigger and then we're going to go to the scene okay so this is the first scene and we're going to create uh, another scene and we're going to name it uh, main menu okay and then we're going to create a menu for our game and let's create one more scene and this one I'm going to name it scene 2 so this scene will be inside the apartment okay so before we move on to scripting so we're going to go to publish setting and I'm going to drop the main manual scene here so the index number will be 0 and the current scene which is this scene is going to be index number will be 1 and the second scene the second scene will be index number will be 2 okay so make sure your scene order is like mine okay and then in the second scene we can uh, just create a, a plan and go to the rendering lighting and the fixed lighting if I click on generate lighting okay so we'll just have a plan here um, and later on when we jump to this scene when we see this plan that proves um, um, that proves us that the script is working all right let's save it and jump back to first scene and for this trigger I'm gonna apply a script so we're going to go to the script folder and bring in this script press key enter apartment A bring this script into the scene and let's select this uh, uh, trigger and we're going to apply this script so that's press key enter apartment A and here uh, we'll need to create an instruction so basically we're going to select our canvas okay, and go to game object UI and create a text so we're going to say instruction uh, 3 so for this instruction I'm gonna say press E um, to enter apartment and find the gun and for the font size I'm gonna do 20 and color I'm gonna choose white and I'm gonna select the instruction press F key so I can uh, uh, zoom in and I want to place this in the center oh before I place it in the center I also want to um, scale it up to show the full text and then center it Okay, so um, I'll go back to the trigger. And for the instruction, I'm going to apply the third instruction here. Alright, so now let's turn off the second pillow light and let's do a test. then here it says press E to enter apartment and yes so this is the second scene so here's the script so basically uh, we all use the scene management 
and we declare a game object uh, which is the instruction that tells the player to press EK to enter the apartment uh, and we created a boolean uh, for status check so basically for boolean uh, we have two status the true and the false and when the game is awake the instruction is a false is deactivated and when the player when an object tagged as a player enter the trigger you're going to set the instruction uh, enable instruction so you're going to show the instruction and also you're going to change the status as true and if the player walk out of the trigger you're going to set both the instruction and action as a false okay so if our player is in the trigger the action is a true and also if um, uh, the player press down ek you know both these status uh, matches and then uh, you'll have the instruction turned off and the action will be reset false and also you're going to load a scene which the index number is two so we have said this uh, the apartment scene the index number is a two so you're going to jump into the scene so now we have finished the first scene and we're going to move on to the second scene which is inside of the apartment all right so here I'm going to use Erin Porter's assignment from last semester. Okay, so Erin Porter is also taking the 3D modeling and animation course with me. So this is one of the assignments he, uh, she have done in last fall. I did a small modification to the floor plan and uh, also I took out all of the furniture and added a ceiling. Alright, so now let's go to the model tab and bring in the apartment model. Okay, and inside here, going to drop in the apartment, and here is it. So we can detonate the plan we created earlier, and save this thing first, and uh, going to switch back to the first thing, and I'll copy this first person controller and paste it here. Okay, and zero out the position value. So because um, the ceiling is very hard to see what's going on inside, so we can temporarily turn the ceiling off. Okay, so here's our first person controller. And as you can see, first person controller is huge. It's because the model, the apartment model is too small. Okay, so we can turn the apartment model and here maybe we can uh, increase the size by let's try 50 and now let's select um, all of the models the ceiling floor and a wall and a window and uh, let's add a component and add a mesh collider so it can hold our player and let's test the play and see how it looks. Okay. Now let's turn off the main camera because our first person controller has a camera in the scene, right? And also we're going to go to here, the furniture folder and add furnitures. Uh, so we have in in last lesson we have imported the furniture assets here, right? We got a single bed and uh, maybe this is bedroom, so we can put our bed inside here and change the scale to one. Okay, and let's see refrigerator, so we can put it in the living room maybe here and size is too big and we can do about 50 okay so um, I'm going to go ahead to place all these furniture inside of the room So here I add a couch, the coffee table, a uh, few chairs and plants and bookshelf and the bed 
um, and just for demonstration purpose, you can add more details if you want. All right. And then I would like you to go to Asset Store and import this uh, door assets. So the download link is posted on Blackboard. Let's go to the door pack um, and prefabs. So here, let's see. We can get a door for our apartment. Okay, and maybe a little bit bigger. Let's try. 1.5 7 too much okay 1.6 will be right there and then we can adjust the scale manually Here I only uh, put one door here because later on I'm going to create an animation to, uh, for the door to open. And after I have applied the animation, I'm going to duplicate this door to all of these doors. Okay, And this door will be the front door, the front gate of this apartment. So I'm going to place my first person controller in front of the door. And I'm going to rotate him to this way. So whenever our player walk from the first scene, uh, enter the apartment, and then he will start at here. Okay. All right. So this is how it looks in the end. Whenever you're in front of the door and press E K, you'll enter the apartment.